Hello student, how are you? I hope you are doing well. So uh, let us start our today's discussion. In the previous lecture, we have discussed various type of instructions and at the end of that video, we have discussed what is completeness of instruction set. Okay, so how we can uh, find out uh, or how we can say whether the instruction set is complete or not. So for that, we have uh, specified four criteria. So our today's topic is uh, timing and control unit. So slowly we will uh, move towards the hardware. We will try to uh, learn that uh, how using various hardware we can implement the uh, execution of various instructions. So let us start our discussion. Our today's topic is timing and control. So uh, let me start the discussion. Uh, let me show you the figure so you can have idea that what we are going to discuss today. So uh, this is what we are going to discuss today, timing and control unit. So let me start. This is the instruction register. Now we have discussed that uh, there are various registers, special purpose registers. So 16 bit, 12 bit and 8 bit register. So in 16 bit register we have discussed there are uh, uh, there were accumulator, then uh, instruction register, temporary register, data register. In short the registers which were dealing with uh, data. Uh, all of them were 16 bit register. So here we will learn that how instruction is decoded by computer. So. Uh, this is the instruction register. These are the bit number 0, 0 to 11, which will represent the address in case of uh, memory reference instruction and in case of register reference and in case of IO instruction, uh, it will uh, represent the operation. So in memory reference, it will, this will use as address while in case of other uh, two categories of instruction, it will be treated as a op code. Now let us see uh, bit number 12, 13 and 14 okay, and how they will play a key role. So bit number 12, 13 and 14 will be given 2, 3 cross 8 decoder. The output of this decoder will range from D0 to D7 and bit number 15 will be given to flip flop I. So in upcoming topic, we will discuss what is I. So uh, at that time, we have discussed that I represent the addressing mode. So if value of I is 0, then it is direct addressing mode. And if value of I is 1, then it is indirect addressing mode. So based on this uh, bit, uh, we will get output. So if you want to uh, find out that which one is the register reference instruction, which one is the memory reference instruction and which one is the IO reference instruction. Now when we have discussed the instruction at that time we have seen that value of op code uh, will be 7 means 111 for register reference as well as in IO it will be 111. So in both case it will be 11111 means 77 while in case of memory reference instruction it will range uh, in between 0 to 6. Now, so whenever the uh, input to uh, bit number, uh, input to 3 cross 8 decoder through bit number 12, 13, 14, it will be in range of uh, you can say 0, 0, 0 to 0, 1, 1. Okay, we will get output from D0 to D6. Clear? So we will get output in range of D0 to D7. While in other cases, means in case of register reference instruction and in IO reference instruction, we will get output from D7. At that time, we will consider the value of i. Okay, if value of i is uh, 0, or then it is register reference instruction, and if value of i is 1, then it is IO reference instruction. Now, 
Let us have a look at the another part of circuit that is 4 cross 16 decoder. In previous uh, topic means in uh, here in uh, in uh, you can say instruction uh, decoding phase okay if it is register reference or if it is IR reference uh, means if the instruction is uh, other than memory reference instruction at that time we will use I bit bit number 15 to uh, determine whether it is register reference or it is IO reference. Okay, if it is memory reference then this I will be used to detect the addressing mode whether the addressing mode is direct or indirect. Now let's have a look at the another part of uh, circuit that is decoder 4 cross 16 decoder. So uh, this uh, decoder will generate output from uh, for T0 to T15. Now what is meaning of T0? T0 means uh, timing signal 0, timing signal 0 to timing signal 15. So what we can say that at any cost the instruction must be over by T15. At max any instruction can have uh, uh, time up to T15 means in 16 step instruction must be over. So uh, T0 then it will be the first phase of instruction then T1 it will be next phase T2 next uh, next phase T3 next phase T4 next phase likewise okay so when instruction will over okay so how computer will know it so that we will discuss in timing diagram now how computer will generate the uh, next timing signal so to give input to this 4 cross 16 uh, decoder we are having 4 bit sequence counter. So this is a normal counter circuit. We will start this circuit with 0, 0, 0. Okay, so here uh, initial value of sequence counter will be 0, 0, 0. Okay, so let me write it correctly 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so this 0, 0 will be given. So T0 will be active. Next here it will be 0, 0, 0, 1. So T1 will be active. Next it will be uh, 1, 0. So T2 will be active. Then it is 1, 1. So uh, T3 will be active. Then it is again uh, 1, 0, 0. So uh, T4 will be active. So likewise, uh, all timing signal will be activated using 4 bit sequence counter. So whenever we will uh, enable the clear input it will set sequence counter to 0 0 0 0 and then step by step we will increment the value of uh, sequence counter and we will provide a clock uh, as a common input to all the circuit to maintain the synchronization between the operation. Now all this input means this decoder input bit number 0 to 11 means 12 then uh, last bit that is I and this uh, 4 bit sequence counter and decoder input means timing signal, decoding input, then addressing mode input and address or opcode input will be given to control and logic gate and then this will generate the control signal. Okay, so here control bus will be connected and it will be connected to all the component which will help computer to execute the instruction. Now let us try to understand that what is the meaning of this clear sequence counter or uh, a sequence counter set to zero. So let's assume that we are having a condition that uh, whenever the output is from D3, pin number D3, okay, and uh, timing signal will reach up to T4. At that time, we will set sequence counter to zero. Okay, this is just for your understanding. In upcoming video, we will see that how it will be used in instruction cycle. So, uh, we will start with the first timing signal means initial value will be 0, 0, 0, 0. So, it will be T0. Then in next clock cycle means we will increment. So, T1 will be active. In next clock cycle, T2 will be active. Uh, here you can see while value of uh, T3 means uh, clock cycle T3 is getting started at that time only a value of D3 is 1 but what is our condition T4 control function what is value of control function D3 and T4 
so in next clock cycle t4 what is value of t4 t4 will be 1 and d3 will be 1 so it will clear the sequence counter means it will enable the clear input of sequence counter so what will happen as soon as computer will uh, initiate this signal means clear sequence counter the life cycle of that instruction will be over now a uh, next instruction will be fetched from the memory and again new life cycle will start so this is how timing and control unit work okay so what we can say this clear will help computer to identify the end of the instruction it will help computer to identify the end of the instruction means if the value of sequence counter is zero that means instruction execution is over and computer can start with the next instruction so that's it uh, this is sufficient for this topic in next topic we will discuss what is instruction cycle thank you